Hello, Annette Stanton here. I hope you're having an inspirational day. I'd like to talk to you about communication styles. And one of the conversations I had yesterday in a coaching session was exactly that, where my one of the leaders that I was coaching felt like she had been on the back foot when it came to a communication where someone, a manager was coming towards her and it really, she felt railroaded at that time and really didn't know how to answer you know, the, the the style of communication that was coming towards her. So she was looking for some, you know, mentoring around that. And one of the best ways that I know is something that has worked for me with all my coaching style, and um, that is to create space. So it doesn't matter whether you're in a coaching, whatever the conversation might be, whether it's a personal conversation, a professional conversation, it's so important to create space. And what that means is you're literally creating space in mind and body, breathing, okay, so that you can take yourself down and ground yourself. Whether you're standing, you ground yourself with your feet. If you're sitting, you ground yourself in your stomach area with your, your you know, um, bottom right on the chair, okay, and you sit back so that you can Feel the space and you breathe so that you're not allowing any judgments to come into the head. You want to breathe it into the heart chakra, into the belly area, so that whatever's going to come out of your mouth is going to come with love and respect and dignity for yourself first and that other person, right? So then you can still assert yourself with whatever your communication style is required at that time, but it will come from an empowering position right? And they will feel heard and vice versa. You will feel heard and gotten because that's the biggest thing that most human beings want is to feel heard and understood. So creating space, asking powerful questions so that they feel heard and then you feel understood at the same time. Thank you. Annette Stanton. Bye for now.